All right, and many thanks for staying with us here on Why Monday News. So we want to go to this particular discussion, the state of Kenya's capital, the state of Nairobi County. Like I said earlier, I'm joined with Fred Wandera and Ed Moniki, who are youth leaders. They'll be helping us un understand more about this Nairobi's capital. And remember what you had has asked you before is, are you satisfied with the current management of Nairobi City? You can continue talking to us at 2216 beginning with the word news. Twitter Y254 channel is the hashtag Y254 updates. So now, the state of Kenya's capital, the management of Nairobi County. First of all, let's start with the, rem the emergence of these gangs. The gangs have been really emerging and re-emerging, emerging and re-emerging. We had the other time, early this year, you know, people just terrorizing residents in Nairobi, not just in this downtown, whereby it's stereotyped that we have a lot of gangs in those particular places, but even just, you know, in uptown, anywhere in town, like you had to really be cautious when you're walking. So let's talk about the emergence of these gangs. What is the county government doing in regards to this? Maybe I can start with you, Ed. Uh, about the gangs. We cannot uh, divide all the attention to the county government mm. because we have very many uh, like institutions which are supposed to manage the gangs. Mm -hmm. But all in all, it's quite early. It's uh, barely one year. Mm -hmm. The governor, Mike Sonko, has been at least one year in the, as a governor Around of Nairobi months. County. Yeah, eight, uh, eight months. Yeah. It's quite early to to start uh, pointing fingers at him. I know he'll deliver one day, one time, because he must uh, try and combine efforts with the uh, security guys, like the OCSs and yeah. the county com commissioners. And of course, I'll come back to you so that you, you can tell us which are these institutions and which is this one day, one time, because you don't have too much time for, for, for you to be telling us that one day, one time he'll deliver. But coming to you, Fred, when you talk about the re emergence, gangs has not been, you know, it, it, it has been something that has really been affecting Nairobians a lot. So talk to us about the re emergence of these gangs and what is the county, do you think they're doing enough to ensure that they actually curb this particular menace once and for all? Yeah, first I want to thank you, the viewers, mm -hmm. uh, for this opportunity. <coughs> Uh, I want to agree with my brother. Uh, I think we are in an agreement mm -hmm. that the county government or our governor has done nothing about the county government so far. He has done nothing. Yeah, with the promise that he gave us. Okay. Because uh, with my brother, uh, he so you're disagreeing that nothing has been done. Okay. The progress. Oh. Because uh, uh, even if it's a new, new new government or a new governor has come in, mm -hmm. uh, it won't be the way it has. Mm -hmm. Because uh, the security, the the the, the, the city councils and Ascaris, those are the were there. Mm -hmm. So you cannot say that things has gone the way it has. Uh, because the somebody new has come in uh, or, uh, on the power or has taken. So I agree with but my brother. Uh, are you the, agreeing or are you disagreeing? I, I, he said that he has not done. Mm -hmm. uh? so but Ed said that this is not entirely, uh, you know, work of the county government, that you also have institutions who, yeah, who should take up this particular is, task. The question, the, the, what we are discussing is uh, uh -huh. within the time our, our, our governor our, our has governor been has in been office, the office eh? so he has done nothing yeah. based on that yeah when it comes the security okay i think i can say it has been worse because uh, we actually uh, more ladies our, our our beloved ladies so it's basically a flop yeah it so is, what it is. Wh what should he do then oh, I, I think oh. i can <laughs> <laughs> i can assist there eh? mm -hmm. till we we heard about the the those gangs eh? mm -hmm. The, I know the many things have been done. Okay. Many, many security, mm -hmm. uh, the security people, the guys, are the uh, 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 AG uh, and the CS, mm -hmm. they have done a good job because right now you don't hear those cases of insecurity in the town. Mm -hmm. Those guns, those mini guns, okay. I don't know, maybe they were even sponsored mm -hmm. to come and spoil the name of the county governor yeah uh, so that they can say there is okay. insecurity and everything in the county yeah. right now i know the the, the police and the, uh, the people in charge of the security they have done a great job right now i don't see those guys th those criminal gangs as much as as uh, as, as they were before yeah that's, that's what you're saying compared to yeah, so you're basically okay that's true because uh, okay and it was what at least they are not trying to, to, to bring things in order. But wh what I'm just trying to disagree, uh, uh -huh. it is uh, when somebody new comes on the power, mm. things go, go so fast worse. Mm. Then or you, before yeah. they can actually come back to how, normal. How? All right. You know, that's not good. Mm. When we go to the, uh, the, the roots of these guns, mm -hmm. uh, uh, these small 
or guys mm. who are who, who are doing all these messes. Mm -hmm. We must say that uh, our governor, the time he came mm. on the office, he put a lot of promises, a lot of hopes on the youth, but he, on that he has not promised. That's why I think. That's why the, all those messages has come in because he promised. When, when you got the manifesto of our <coughs> our governor, mm -hmm. he promised the use. Uh, I don't know. Was it ten thousand jobs? But yeah. I don't know if it is per month. But so far, my brother even he cannot name even one person who has been employed. So this hope is what has made this uh, the, 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 this to resort to, to yeah, forming to, to guns this. because when there, and, you and that's why I've them. just nothing, told you. Yeah, coming to okay. I can I can support <coughs> the governor. Mm -hmm. It's barely eight months. We have just said like that. Yeah, yeah. But we have he has a, more than three and a half years. But the governor, in, as the governor the, of the, the let me finish as the governor of Nairobi County, the manifesto he had, mm. he must we are we were we are we are on the watch. He must accomplish whatever he has promised the youth. If he has promised us five thousand jobs, mm. which he started by creating the Sonko rescue team, mm -hmm. yeah. But I, I know there's something on the pipeline, but they should consider to to create employment for the youth through different we are not even supposed to concentrate with the sonko rescue mm -hmm. he has a lot of programs mm -hmm. which are associated with the youth and i know and i believe if he wa he will appoint the best people who will be overseeing the youth projects and yes. like the uh, mm -hmm. waziri wa uh, the cec of sports mm -hmm. gender and the, and the youth, mm -hmm. Janet Modoni Uko, he's, she's doing a good job in the county level. So you're basically supporting that, okay, he yeah, has not but done they much should to do these more. guns, but he's basically on the road to doing something? Yes. All right. Yes. So just moving forward, let's now look at something else, the issue of water, clean water. It's something that really Nairobians have been complaining about. Yeah. What is the county government doing, Fred? Maybe I can start with you. The county government, for the promise that he, pro that's uh, just, uh, still just going to the promise that our uh, the governor Promising too much and not fulfilling. Yeah. Actually, when you uh, before we got the, the, to the issue of the water, mm -hmm. uh, our governor say within within a hundred days when you got the his speech uh, yeah. on the time of the inauguration, he. This he, is some of the promises that he actually that he, mentioned: yeah. good roads, traffic, mm -hmm. clean city. Yeah. But yeah. With, with, still say. Wait, the, 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 this a hundred was it a hundred month or a hundred days? Mm. The hundred days are already gone. We are now going to uh, one year. But so we are not. We are seeing nothing. Uh, uh, when it's come to the job, the things of the, 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 <laughs> Dore, let me. Come okay. the things of the water. Yeah. I don't know. Whether, wha, wha, even if it, the the the, the, pro, the project has started, I don't know. Let me it, say something about the, the, that issue of water. Let us be. Let, the let me, of let me say really. something okay. about that <laughs> issue of water. Clean eh? water. Uh, the clean water. Every Nairobi, uh, Nairobi is entitled. Any that's the basic. Any and a far. They are entitled to clean to, water. To clean water. And the county government, at least that's the area should be, they should focus a lot. Mm. They should put all their focus on. Okay. Because, uh, but we are blaming the county government, we should see the root cause. Mm -hmm. It's poor urban planning. Mm. The, the drainage system and the piping, they were done in 1980s. So it's right now, problem. Yeah, that's what right now saying. we have expanded more buildings, mm. more, more, that, more need of water. Okay. And that's why we, we see, we, we go for weeks, maybe. Like me, I, I've grown in uh, areas of Eastlands. Mm -hmm. We water shortage is not a story. We experience it day in day out. But <laughs> the county government, yeah, the county government <laughs> should invest. But yeah. is it that way? Is it supposed to be that way that you that that it even you you, bec you become accustomed to water shortage? That actually when the issue of clean water no longer actually becomes an issue that you're just used to the dirty water. And water shortage. Uh, l l let me tell you the reason why Fred, the, the yeah. reason why we we, we uh, was a lot of promises. And actually, the time our governor was promising this thing, people like uh, people others like us, we were just mm -hmm. laughing about it because uh, you have first to look where are you going to start this thing. If you are saying about the water, where this water is going to uh, within a hundred days, where are you going? Where will you start? You need to start, and then you do promise. Okay. Uh, when, when it comes uh, the things of. Um, Water messes around Nairobi. My, my, my friend, 
we cannot we cannot just living because this thing has been there the problem mm -hmm. continue living, living like, like the problem of no, water we cannot. we should start asking ourselves mm -hmm. the problem how are we the storage how we'll capture that water mm -hmm. and use it mm -hmm. for our future mm -hmm. use okay. but we uh, a lot of water go uh, into waste mm -hmm. we normally see our floods uh, everywhere but we cannot do the water catchment that, that, that's okay. the reason why the question is coming what the county uh, government mm -hmm. has done about all these things so everything we, we is in plan everything is in plan <laughs> we saw the 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 his excellency the, the president he said he will do uh, in, in the in the early, early months yeah. of but of, some of things office. need we, we, we need put him on, when you are, when you're in the office or the mm. governor mm. you have to come up with the structures okay. you put their people to do that specific work mm. you cannot just enter within three months fall like poof at you have done a, a water project and it's a big problem in nairobi okay. it needs a lot of time yeah. so me whatever and i'll say yes inside. let's okay. planning take place proper planning mm -hmm. we don't want shoddy work mm -hmm. and proper drainage mm -hmm. and everything and proper piping mm -hmm. we need a clean job so let's get let's give them time mm -hmm. maybe he has a lot of uh, three years three and a half years is a lot three years looks like yeah. a lot of time. <laughs> okay well, oh, and uh, let me ask the question uh, this question maybe we have to discuss that was uh, this issue of uh, jobs uh, of um, um, of traffic measure of youths being recruited people uh, youths went to see, i don't know because i don't know where and i don't know where it where it disappeared We'll come uh, to that particular know. issue later on as we move on to this particular discussion. But I just want to move to, uh, for us to move to, to something else. They, they, we, we, are, we always have this issue of uh, street kids. Mm. And even on, on uh, Governor Kidero's time, during uh, when, when Obama was coming to the country, we, like almost three days, four days, you will barely see the street kids. But thereafter, they were again back on the streets. So uh, what kind of strategies do you think this county government has put in place to ensure that we can actually curb the issue of, of street kids, whereby probably they can get, you know, uh, permanent homes so that they, they're not brought in the streets and then out of the streets whenever there's, uh, there's something, you know, emerging or it requires them to be out of this, of this particular street. So what, what measures and plans is the county government putting in place to ensure that we actually curb this issue of street kids in the streets? Um, Starting I think with you, you know, Fred, before we actually move to yeah. Ed. Uh, Kenyans, or as the people of Kenya, we need to live in reality. Because those people, uh, the are street children, they are from somewhere. And that's how, we, in some extent, I agree mm -hmm. with the women ref of Kambu, mm -hmm. what he said. <laughs> I, um, <Polygamy>? that, uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, of course, we are doing these things in the darkness. <laughs> so when it comes, you don't wa you don't want to be associated with what you uh. have done in darkness. Mm -hmm. So you, uh, you you let uh, you let children suffer on the street. Let us agree that these are our children. So what you're trying to say is that like, Nairobi County should implement what Kiambu County is trying to it, see. That, they that, can that's go to the national uh, national assembly. They okay. must uh, they need to come up with that motion so that you know and they pass. The, it's not only the problem actually in Nairobi. Mm -hmm. All the cities mm -hmm. has all these messages, and uh, with the Nairobi. Uh, uh, our county government has to come up with a program that is going to take care of these uh, this, uh, street children and then to give them the, the education to... Uh, okay. I, I think, it looks, it looks I like think a really uh, I will differ with my saying. brother. Yeah? Polygamous, okay. being polygamous is a personal decision, mm -hmm. so it would help anything. In it fact, help in it won't. Uh, it won't. Whatever the county government right now, I'm aware they mm -hmm. have started programs of uh, giving of rehabilitation centers. They have. Uh, I know a few of rehabilitation centers, like one in Madare, another one in Kibera. Mm -hmm. Now they are taking these street children to mm -hmm. those rehabilitation centers. Mm -hmm. But the problem they have, these street children are are, no, are are not used on of that environment mm -hmm. because maybe they are use of drugs and some kinds of substance. Right now, the, when they they take them there, they find their out, way out again to the streets of Nairobi where they get kit kidogo. No, mm -hmm. I think they should be much, uh, they should emphasize on the strictness mm -hmm, okay. and build good rehabilitation For centers. And the management, management matters of mm -hmm. that rehabilitation center. Mm -hmm. If they don't find a, a welcoming uh, environment, mm -hmm. they'll find their way out. Okay. Yes. So basically but what you're saying is good rehabilitation centers yes. and create good management for this rehabilitation for, for actually for it to work. Mm -hmm. Alright, and of course we'll be, we'll, uh, we'll just be crossing over to, you know, to listen in uh, to uh, a particular clips that 
you know, uh, one of our reporters was on the ground earlier on today, just getting some views from Kenyans, what they have to say about the state of Nairobi County. But before we do that, let's move on to something interesting, which of course has been making news, uh, uh, you know, the whole of this week. BRT, bus rapid, tr the, the bus rapid transit system, it's being introduced to, to Nairobi. Of course, on the major roads, Thika Superhighway, Mombasa Road, you know, and in Thika Road, we, we are the 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 marks have even started being being made. So basically, mm. is this a move by the county government to reduce traffic jams, or is it, or is it just coping? Because when you look at our very own neighbour Tanzania, they have this system. South Africa has been practicing it. Nigeria began the system in 2008. So basically, is it coping this African countries, or is Nairobi ready for this BRST system? You know, when, Fred. When, 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 when you cope something good, it is health. <coughs> so if, we, if they have seen that you have worked in another country mm -hmm. and we bring him in Kenya, it will help us. Mm -hmm. I, I think that's, that's when I agree with the governor, because yeah. he must implement that. And I, but I think it will, I, actually it will help. Mm -hmm. with the, it will help reduce congestion in roads? Yeah, in the way the, 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 the buildings are being uh, constructed uh, okay. around, around our city. Uh -huh. I think the, the things of, of jump within right. the time okay. will so have to I, I think right. the, the, that particular <coughs> lane mm -hmm. set, which was set aside mm -hmm. for, it was set aside, I think, for uh, emergency, emergency vehicles mm -hmm. like ambulances. Mm -hmm the NYS mm -hmm. buses mm -hmm. and the VIPs. Eh? Mm -hmm. I think it will be a good idea. It's a good mm -hmm. idea mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. we have been uh, maybe example like an ambulance mm -hmm. has have been having a lot of problem maneuvering okay. into the traffic of Nairobi. Right. So I think it's a good and so a brilliant idea. You are saying it's a, it's a good move by the county government to reduce congestions. Yes. Yes. Alright, so just uh, let's listen into what viewers had to say on the streets earlier today in regards to the state of Nairobi County. At one point. Yeah. Nairobi and today took it to the streets to get to hear what the public has to say about this. Here is what they said. Okay. Uh, I think they need to fix the roads now when you could have flood was it really happened last year, it happened this year, then it's still going to happen next year. I think that's something we should work on. And then clean up the streets. Road and stuff. You to be honest, I'm not well equated uh, uh, with the county government, but uh, from observation, I think the traffic and the it's not doing its work that's uh, that well because even if you go to let's say to the street there is a zebra crossing in, it's indicated but no one sees that so i think it's poor so far my own opinion i would say it's not going well uh, and an example i can give with uh, the traffic i would start with the way the this guy the trans cs for transport say that we should put some part of road for the VVIPs and the, it's not, it, it's, it will continue bringing traffic and congest, congestion, it won't help, so I would say it wasn't good to separate that. Because, okay, the way I'm a Fisher, Nairobi, for me it's good, as in it was not like that before, it was more clean. As in Sonko is doing his work and about the roads uh apple so i like i'm 50 50 because you see historia mabasi kupita the fourth lane as you know make an inner lane sawa chota kwa na shukaje because not real barabara it's hard kuvuka well there you have it those are some of the sentiments from the members of the public and it seems much is really expected from this so doreen back there with your panelists get to know what we need to know wherever hillary reporting for i254 news speaking over the weekend at the machakos primary school in machakos town where she was all right, and of course, that is what our viewers had to say earlier on on the streets in regard to this particular topic. So, of course, we've had, you know, we've had a, quite a number of sentiments. People saying that uh, Mike, the governor has tried to clean up the city and things like that, which, of course, are good, good and positive comments and sentiments right there. But just uh, as you wind up this particular discussion, I want us to f wrap it up with the issue of revenue tax collection, which is, of course, a positive move because right now we at least, he, the, the office collects around 100 million per day. 
which wasn't so. But then again, this is good, all right. But where is this money going to? Because we still have people from Parasitical complaining about late pays and things like that. So basically, when this money is being collected, what is what uh, what is it be, being used to do, and where is where, where is the money going? Starting with you, Fred, as we uh, wrap up this discussion. Yeah, that's the big question you have to ask uh -huh. when the if the collection now is is huge, mm -hmm. where the money is being where it is being used to, mm -hmm. and who is uh, who is pocketing this money? Mm -hmm. We need to know because we are as as you uh, you know. There's a say they say that uh, more. If you receive more, more expected from you. Mm -hmm. So as, as much as uh, Mike Sonko has uh, uh, done the collection, being improved and is now okay, mm. we're expecting a lot of things from his office. He must do something. All right. Yeah. Ed, what do you have to say as you wrap it up? Yeah, uh, I think uh, there's a process eh, mm -hmm. which the, the county government follows. Okay. I think after the collection of the revenue, they normally uh, take the funds to the national treasury mm -hmm. so that the, the national treasury can disband again the money on the county. Mm -hmm. Uh, not forgetting that Nairobi County generates more than 60% of the national Yes. Now, uh, the money, at least we have faith with this governor because uh, the previous regime, we have not been, money has been, a, a, lot, uh, a lot of money was lost, mm -hmm. maybe billions of money. At least mm -hmm. right now, uh, Sonko is at least coming up with another strategy mm -hmm. of transparency, at least... Mm -hmm. At least you know there's 100 know million okay. per day. <laughs> yeah. Is that enough to know there's money but you can't see it? Okay. All right, I won't let you <laughs> both of you address because we can continue this particular conversation. But basically that right there has been Fred Wandera and Ed Moniki who are youth leaders just giving us their side of what they think the Nairobi County is doing in regards to development and how the management has become since the county governor Mike Sonko took office, um, since he was elected in office rather in August last year. And of course, that's all we had time for here on Why Monday News. Until tomorrow night when we talk matters business. My name is Doreen Arange, and good night.